Hey folks, this is JR with DIY Prepper. Welcome to the channel and today I would like to thank the folks over at EcoFlow for sponsoring this video and sending us one of their Delta power stations along with some solar panels for us to look at today. We're going to take a close look at this power station, its solar panels, and also talk about the type of devices and appliances that it could power either during a short-term blackout or even a more long-term grid down situation. So, hope you guys enjoy. Now, getting into the specs of this Delta Power Station, it has a capacity of 1,260 watt hours, meaning that's the amount of energy that it has stored within its batteries that you can use to power either your devices, appliances, tools, whatever the case may be. And as far as what it can handle running all at once, it can handle 1800 running watts, meaning that it can handle 1800 watts continuous across all your devices, but it can also handle up to 3300 starting watts. And that's going to be good for devices like refrigerators, box freezers, and tools like circular saws that require more power on startup and then they ease their way back down once they're up and running. So that's going to be enough power to run many, many small devices and also a couple of large devices all at once. One of the most impressive features of this Delta unit is that when you plug it into an AC power source, you are going to be able to recharge this unit from 0% all the way to 80% in less than an hour. That is one of the fastest charging rates that you will find on any device like this. And charging speeds this fast are made possible by EcoFlow's patented Xtreme technology. It's very useful if you're in a situation where maybe your house is out of power, but you're able to go, you know, plug it in somewhere, maybe like work, maybe at a friend's house. So you can go do that, charge it very quickly, take it back home, and power the devices that you need it to. And that could mean the difference between food spoiling and not. And also, if you're in a situation where maybe you need to use sensitive medical equipment, something like a CPAP, that would enable you to get that powered up quickly and back in use if you were able to find some sort of power source that you can plug this into AC power with. And in addition to being able to recharge this unit from an AC power source like a wall plug, you can also recharge this unit using things like solar panels. If you have a full array of solar panels and good sun conditions, this unit can be recharged in around four hours and it can also be recharged in less than 10 hours using the 12 volt plug in your car. And this Delta unit also comes with the plugs that you will need to charge the device in those three different ways. It comes with the 110 volt AC power cord for wall outlets. It comes with the cord that you will need to hook this device up to the solar panels as well as a 12 volt cord that you can use to plug into the power port in your car. The EcoFlow Delta has six AC outlets that can produce a total of 1800 watts of power. And you notice that you see slots for two prongs and then there is a large hole in the middle of the two rows of plugs. That is for devices that require three prong plugs. On the front of the device, it has four USB-A ports and two of those are fast charge ports. It also has two USB-C ports along with a car power output plug on the back of the device. The Delta only weighs just over 30 pounds, which makes it lighter than pretty much any gas generator out there. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it easy to set up, easy to move where you want it to. And also, if you need to bug out, it's going to be easy to load and it doesn't really take up that much space. Looking at this size wise, this takes up probably less space than something like a computer like desktop CPU would. It's a little bit shorter. It's probably about as long and about as wide, but footprint wise, this unit doesn't take up a whole lot of room. It also comes with a nice case that you can use while storing it to keep dust out of it so that it'll be ready to work when you need it to. The solar panels, these are 160 watt solar panels and they weigh just over 15 pounds. 
for that entire set comes with a nice case it's going to be easy to carry around so this entire package is extremely portable and then as far as the lifespan of this unit it has a warranty of 24 months and the batteries in it are rated for over 800 cycles so as far as what you'll be able to run with it the short answer is a lot even with one set of solar panels like what I have, you should be able to keep small devices running almost indefinitely. It has such a high capacity that charging things like cell phones and emergency radios barely makes a dent in it. You'll also be able to keep other things like rechargeable lanterns and even power tool batteries up and running. If you're camping, you'll be able to use it to run equipment like inflators. I was able to completely inflate our air mattress in about the same amount of time as it would have taken if I had the inflator plugged into the wall. The Delta has AC plugs as well as a 12 volt car plug so you'll be able to power both types of inflators. You can also use it to help keep you comfortable during power outages. It had no problem running a large fan on high and it could have ran it for around 11 hours if that was the only thing that it was powering. The Delta was also able to power a small 5000 BTU window AC unit. An air conditioner like this is fairly small, but it'll work well if you're just trying to cool a room. And while it can run the fan on the window AC for much longer, you'll get around 3 hours of power if you're running the AC on high cool. I was also able to use the Delta to run several household appliances. One of the most important things that I want any generator to be able to power is my box freezer. I have a ton of deer meat in there and I would hate for it to go to waste. It was able to handle my small box freezer without any problems and the nice thing about a full freezer is that it helps keep itself cool. This means that the power station will need to work less helping it to last longer. The display said that it could run the freezer for around 10 hours but that's if the freezer ran for 10 hours straight. In reality, it would last much longer since the freezer isn't technically running the entire time. The Delta was also able to power my side-by-side -side refrigerator, which would be useful for a short-term power outage. Now, if I was dealing with a situation that I knew was going to last for a while, I would probably move anything that I didn't want to lose into the freezer to help me conserve power. In addition to preserving food, it can also help you cook as well. I used it to cook some chicken nuggets in my microwave. You should also be able to use the power station to run other appliances like electric griddles and blenders. Another large device that I was able to power was my washing machine. I loaded it full of towels and the Delta ran it for an entire cycle. While you probably won't be using your washing machine much during a long term disaster, being able to finish a load of laundry could be very important during a short term power outage. My wife and I had a friend staying with us a couple years ago and the power went out during the middle of them doing laundry. If we had had something like this back then, we could have used it to finish the cycle and then hang up what they needed from a shower rod and plugged in our fan and help it dry out then just iron it afterwards. Even after running that entire load of laundry, it had only used 8% of its battery. And that's really impressive considering I had used it to power my studio lighting at the same time that it was running that load of laundry. The Delta is also capable of running different types of tools and one that I had to test in real life was my air compressor. I had a flat tire and my spare was low on pressure. I didn't have an inflator in my car so I had my wife bring the Delta and my air compressor to me when I got out of work. I was able to use the power station and compressor to fill up my spare tire to the proper level. It can also handle more power hungry tools such as circular saws. Circular saws require a large amount of start wattage. At one point mine surged to well over 3000 watts when starting. However, even with my saw's large power requirements, I was able to make several cuts in a 2x6 that I had left over from a project. Being able to operate tools like this can help you make much needed repairs to your home after a disaster, especially one that's weather related. You'll be able to do things like board up windows and repair fences. You can also run up to 13 devices at once using the Delta. In my test, I was able to charge an iPhone, iPad, weather radio, and an LED lantern all while running a large fan, a lamp, three power tool battery chargers, my laptop, and an in loop battery charger. While the power station on its own is impressive, a set of solar panels is an absolute must for emergency preparedness. 
having them will allow you to keep your power station going through the duration of a disaster, however long or short it may be. And the 160 watt panels that EcoFlow sent me are really nice. They use monocrystal and silicon cells and are waterproof. They can be submersed in up to a meter of water for 30 minutes, meaning that they won't get damaged if they get a little wet. They only weigh a little over 15 pounds and are easy to carry thanks to their case, which doubles as a kickstand. Setting up the solar panels is pretty straightforward. Unzip the bag and unfold the panels. Then position the panels towards the middle of the case and then attach the D-rings on the solid side of the case to the panels. This will allow you to use it as a kickstand. After you attach those D-rings, do the same for the other end also. Then move the case and panels to the angle that you want. Then connect the cables on your panels to the solar panel cord that came with the delta. They only go together one way, so you don't have to worry about messing it up. After that, connect the power cord to the yellow slot on the side of the delta, and you should be good to go. A power station like this is going to have several advantages over something like a traditional gas generator. And the first one is that this unit isn't going to make any sound. Even inverter generators do produce enough noise to be heard from a fairly significant distance away. And not being heard is extremely important from a security standpoint. And also, if you live somewhere like an apartment complex, you're not going to be able to use a gas generator. Everybody around you is going to know that you have it. And a lot of these apartment complexes, their buildings, it seems like they're barely even 50 feet apart. I was at one visiting a short time ago, and that's how far apart the buildings seem to be. And it's really, you need to have at least 25 feet between the generator and the closest building. So something like a gas generator, even if you don't mind waking up everybody in your complex, it's probably not even going to be safe to use something like that if the buildings are close together. And another advantage that a power station like this is going to have over a traditional gas generator is that you are going to be able to run this safely indoors. And that's good for a couple different reasons. The first is security. You don't have to worry about some jerk coming and stealing your generator while you're sleeping because it's inside with you. Just keep an eye on it while it's, you know, charging out in the sun if you have solar panels. And also another good thing about being able to run this indoors is there are a lot of situations, especially dealing with weather emergencies, where you don't necessarily want to go outside and fool with getting a gas generator up and running, set up, and have power running into your home. It might be a hurricane where you're dealing with torrential rains and epic winds, or maybe it's even snow. It's going to be a lot more convenient, a lot more safe, just to plug something like this into your most important devices, and then wait until the storm's passed, charge it back up with your solar panels, and you're back in business. Also, since you can power this with solar, that kind of reduces your dependency on fuels such as gasoline. And gasoline can be a challenge to store. You gotta, you gotta rotate it, and also it only lasts for a certain amount of time. Propane, of course, can last much longer, but all fuels like that are gonna be dangerous to store in large quantities especially if you live in a residential area. I mean, you don't want your house fire to turn into a mushroom cloud. That would be bad. And then also, if you live in an apartment, I mean, like I said a second ago, a gas generator is not going to be practical anyway. And then where are you going to keep all the fuel that you're planning on use to keep that generator running for any length of time? And another advantage that something like this has is that it's going to be much better for sensitive electronics because it uses what's called pure sine wave technology. Traditional gas generators, because of just their nature being based on an internal combustion engine, their energy output isn't going to be all that steady, which that can damage certain sensitive electronics. Now, a lot of you may be wondering, where does a device like this fit in somebody's overall preparedness strategy? And I think a device like this that has a large capacity and has a renewable energy source in solar is probably your best choice if you are worried about a long-term emergency just because you're not going to be relying on fuel anymore. And this is going to be able 
to charge small devices, things like cell phones, radios, also if you have power tool batteries, basically indefinitely. And of course, it can run larger devices as well. We saw that on the video. If you're at the beginning of a long-term situation and you have meat in the freezer, Having something like this ready to go will extend your food storage by allowing you to keep your deep freeze running longer. And as far as short-term emergencies go, honestly, this is probably what I'm going to be reaching for just because it's convenient. It has enough power to power my deep freeze, my refrigerator, so that, I mean, a lot of the power outages I deal with around here, they're only a few hours. So this is going to be more than enough to keep what I need from spoiling and also if things last a little bit longer I always have the solar panels that I could hook up outside and get more power for the device that way. Once again thank you guys for stopping by I do appreciate it I hope you enjoyed the video and if you look down in the description below you will see a link where you can check these products out and if you decide to purchase through their links I will get a small commission I just want to be upfront about that but I hope to see y'all back Y'all have a good and thanks again.